Now I'm going to demonstrate how to teach the wind. We start with the hammerhead behind the right side, left arm long, and the first movement we want to teach is how to sweep the ball in front. So we have the hammerhead behind, and we just bring the ball out in front to zero degrees. From there, we sweep, then we teach the throwers just to curl their left arm in. Sweep, curl the left arm in, bring the hands to the forehead. As you notice, I'm throwing a little bit to the right. I'm here, and I'm gonna move the hammer to the right side. So it's sweep, curl, lift the hands up over the head, and behind the right side. So when I teach beginners how to do the hammer, we have a couple different cues. We start with the hammer behind the right side, we push the ball to zero, curl and lift the hands up, behind the right side, long and back, push it in front. And that's the beginning sequence we teach to teach the wind. Okay, now we're gonna have an athlete demonstrate how to wind. We're gonna start with the ball behind the right hip. They're gonna push it in front, curl, behind the right ear, drop the hammer behind, push it in front, curl, behind the right ear, straight arm, push it in front. We'll repeat that action a few times. One of the things you wanna work on when you wind is to wind from front to back and focus on the hammer dropping to zero, high behind the head. You want the high point to be right behind the head, the low point to be in front, just above the knees. Good. Now we want to practice winding and turning with the golf club, focusing on the orbit. So we're going to do two winds, nice and flat. The first turn is going to be relatively flat. That means the hammerhead's not too high or too low. And then as the athlete turns, the orbit's going to get steeper and steeper, which means the low point's going to get a little lower and the high point's going to be a little higher. We're going to demonstrate that right now. So we do two easy winds, then enter flat. The ball head drops a little, then raises up drops a little, raises up, drops, raises, and then they finish at 180 with a big finish on the throw. Now that we turned with the golf club, we're gonna try winding and turning with the actual hammer. So we're ready to move on to the next phase of the throw where we're gonna have the athletes gonna do two winds and they're gonna do slow turns with the hammer. Nice.